الاسبوعين البستكي انا ام نون تو بي ذا ماجيك مان ان ذا عرب وورلد ام ون اوف ذا جايز ذات واز ذا بايونيرز اوف اكسبلورينج ذا ارت اوف ماجيك ان ذا عرب وورلد اند ان ذا يو اي اي The idea of magic is quite a taboo in this part of the world. But then I decided I'm going to take a step forward and mesmerize the world with some of the things that I can do. Read people's minds, vanishing people, levitating them or doing other stuff which is related to the art of magic. So, around 10, I wanted just to, just to put your finger like this. Yeah, quite, it, quite is, sharp. Yes? Like, it is sharp. Round 10. <laughs> 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 this is a necklace for me to use. <laughs> 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 Uh, in my house, the idea of magic had not been accepted in the beginning. That was a challenge for me. People in my house, my sister, my brothers, my mom and dad, and my family members, they did not want me to become a magician because to them magic is something that you could not touch. But I explained to them that what I'm doing, although it looks like very impossible, but it is doable by whoever wants to explore the art of magic. This is a normal dice. If you just flip it around, see it's a normal dice. There's one to six numbers. Yes? Mm -hmm. What I would want you to do, I want you to decide on a number. Flip it several times, okay. put your hands on top of it. Don't show it to me, don't show it to the camera. And you just look at it. I'm going to try and guess if I can know which number you have. Yes? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. There's no one. There's no way I can did, did you show me that one? Yes. But I, I didn't see. Do you want to change that? Do you want to stick with it? No, I will stick so with it. So I want you to think about it. Think about the number. Find a single number to me. Close your eyes. I want to see the number. Yeah? Okay. So the number on top is it? Yes? Yeah? The number on top? No, I didn't. Did you see The number on top is it? So you know where the eye was now? Okay. So I want you to think of a number. Try and send that number. Imagine there's a split between my head to your head. You're sending that number to me. I don't know. I feel a number that you might have chosen. I think. I was six years old when my grandfather was in the art of magic. He learned magic. He knew some magic tricks and he tried to teach them to my dad and my uncle but they were not interested. At the age of six I was in my room. My grandfather was calling my name. So I went to his room. To my surprise he took a one dirham coin. He puts it in his mouth, he bites on it and when he brings it out it was bitten in half. I was well, maybe his teeth is very strong but that wasn't it. He took that half bitten coin, shook it and became a full coin one more time. So I ran from his room, I went to everybody, flipped around 20 dirhams of coins, took it to him, I was like, take these 20 dirhams, make them 200, I want to buy a bicycle with them. Well, he said, I can't because the coin that I have is a magic coin, it's not a real coin. But that was the first time I saw magic, the first time I realized there is this mysterious thing that if you could do, you could mesmerize people. So that was the first time magic knocked on my door. After my grandfather showing me the trick, he was like, listen, it seems you're interested in the art of magic. Why don't I teach you? So whoever, whatever magic that he knew and whomever I've taught it to him, he taught me then. At the age of nine, I did my first ever show for family and friends. So they were at home, I was having my, my jacket on, my top hat on, and I did a peeling of flower, and then I tried a rabbit trick that the rabbit was showing from the box, and it, my, all my tricks were exposed. So in high school, after finishing my high school, I decided I'm gonna become a magician. Full-time magician, do my stage shows, big ones everywhere in the Arab world. 
but my dad was against it. He was like, no, you have to go and complete your education. Well, I'm not saying education is not important, but what I'm saying that if your kids do have passion, explore them, help them achieve it, you never know, they might become somebody expert in that field of art if they are doing any kind of art. My dad got into supporting me with magic only in 2010-11 when I became famous on TV. So 2010, I had my first big explosion on TV, vanishing somebody from their house and then bringing them to the studio, vanishing from the studio and bringing him at his house. But that made a big noise in the Arab world. And my dad was so proud that he was then sending it to his friends. So then I knew that my dad finally had accepted me being a magician. In 2015, I launched my line of products in the Arab world, so people could go anywhere in the Arab world, Toy Store, Toys R Us, Kidzania, IMG in Dubai, anywhere they wish to go for kids, they will see my stands with products there. And that was a way that I wanted to give back to the people uh, of what I know in the art of magic. So from then, what I did, I was starting teaching people magic in classrooms. People come to me in my office or I go to them and I teach them real amazing tricks that they could perform for their family members and friends or when they are out mixing and mingling with people. So that was another thing that we did. So we try and push the envelope one step further every time. Not just to do magic stage shows, it's also art of educating them about the art of magic and telling them that this art exists if you're interested why not learn it? And I'm always in contact with other magicians everywhere else where we exchange our experiences and knowledge of what we learn in the art of magic. My ideal magician was uh, David Copperfield. And the reason behind that was my dad had a shop long ago. Uh, people of my generation would remember the VHS and Betamix tapes. So at that time, when we wanted to watch a movie, it used to be in a tape, which used to be called VHS or Betamix, smaller one and a bigger one. So my dad had a shop where he used to be renting and selling those tapes to people who come to his shop. And that was one of the oldest ones that was in Dubai, and that was my dad's. So my dad used to get all these tapes from US, and when there was no copyright at that time, we used to make lots of copies out of them, package them, and then sell them in his, in his shop. However, after copyright, he wasn't able to do that. Among them was David Copperfield's TV specials. So when he used to get them and he knew I like magic, he used to come to me and give that to me, tell him you can watch this and learn the stuff. And me doing the banishing of Burj Khalifa, it was sort of an homage to David Copperfield when he banished the Statue of Liberty. So that was something that I wanted to give back to somebody that I really look up to to become like. Then of course, Chris Angel came into the scene of magic. So I learned lots of style of magic from Chris Angel. I wanted to create my own identity. So I wanted to be the Arab guy that is proud to be from his, from his nation, from his city from his area and could do magic. Because magic is not restricted to a nationality, uh, a dress code, or a style. You could be from anywhere in the world. And if you like the art of magic, you will be doing good at it, regardless of where are you from and what word you wear. My style is that my style is back and forth. I, I bring them in the experience. I was driving to here. You can, you can keep it following. We'll do something else. While I was driving, I decided I'm not going to come to the empty hands. I'm going to come into the extract meter and I'm going to bring a gift to you. Yes? So what I would want you to do, I want you to go into your memory and I want you to think of a gift. Any day you can change your mind to several times. You don't need to stick to your birthday or anything else. You can just have a look at the end of the Let's say a day. Which one is the day? You can tell me. 14. 14. 1, 4, 0, 5. And let's say the year. Which year? You can choose the year. 2019. You know, let's choose any year. 
only four digit numbers. Any four numbers. Any four numbers. Three, three, nine, six. So one four zero five two thousand and nineteen three three nine six. Yes? So you know what is this? So what happens? In 2015, 25th of August, I went to a supermarket. I bought me a couple of things that I wanted to buy from there. They gave me a receipt. I kept the receipt in this box. Oh my God. It was all in view. Nobody touched this box. It was here, yes? Can you confirm that nobody touched it? It was here from the beginning. Shall I show you to the camera, not me. See the number there. What the hell? What? <laughs> no, seriously. It's How magic. did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's magic. Okay, maybe this is magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's magic. It doesn't take it. I had a lovely time spending talking with expat media. You guys make sure you follow them all the time with the updated news that's gonna benefit you. Thank you for watching. I'm Wayne Investigator.